Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x approaches e from the positive direction. So press pause and, uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, let's just say the whole limit. Let's just say the whole limit is y. So now natural log both sides. So that will then give you this. Uh, when you natural log it, this will come down here. That's this bit here. And you've got your natural log here. And then you've got your log of x in here. Log of x in here. So now, um, now, now this, uh, uh, at the moment you've got one block multiplying another block. This one gets multiplied to the top. So it gives you this. So now let's check it as, as x tends to e from the positive direction. Well, this thing here, uh, as x tends to e, um, you, well, if you look at this, your eyes are zooming to the e here. e to the power of what would give you this thing here, would give you e. It can only be one here. Well, as x tends to e, this thing here is heading towards towards one. So uh, so this thing here is heading towards one. So now if you look at this, natural log of something that's heading towards one will be zero. So uh, so this whole thing here will be will be heading towards zero. And then as x tends to uh, to e here, um, as x tends to e, even though it's, it's from a positive direction, is still heading towards zero. Uh, because if you if you draw a graph of y equals x minus e, it will look something like this, the intercept is negative, neg negative e, and then as, as you approach it from the, from the positive direction, you are still heading towards zero here, you are still heading towards zero. So here you've got a uh, zero over zero, zero over zero is an indeterminate form, so, uh, so you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule, um, differentiate this, if you differentiate this, it will then give you this, and then if you differentiate this, it's just uh, the uh, the one here. So uh, so when you come to differentiate this, um, visualize it like this. So uh, so so when you differentiate this, it will be one over the bubble times the derivative of the bubble. Well, the derivative of the bubble here is uh, one over x. So that gives you this is this here. This thing here is this, and then uh, so here you've got this. Uh, multiply them together. Well, this thing here divided by one, it is just that thing. So this thing here, uh, well, it becomes this thing here. And then, uh, and then, and then, let me think. Um, and then, as x tends to e, um, as x tends to e, this this block here will head towards one, and this block here will head towards e. So, so this is heading towards one. This is heading towards e. Nothing breaks down. You put one divided by e. Nothing breaks down. This is a legitimate answer. One, if you have one divided by zero, it breaks down. But this is the legitimate. Uh, so, so one over e is, uh, as, as x tends to positive e, it, the whole thing will tend towards, um, will tend towards, um, will tend toward one over e. And then now, uh, now, e, now exponentiate both sides. So e this side, e this side. That will then give you this, and these two will cancel each other out, giving you uh, giving you this. So the limit is this. So if you um, if you if you get a graph plot, or if you get a graph plot and plot this, um, as x tends to e here, so this is uh, x equals e here. So this is as, as x tends to e from the positive direction. It's really you doing this. You're heading towards uh, towards towards uh, e here. So this is x x equals e here. This line is x equals e, and this blue line here is uh, e to the power of one over e. So as so looking at this here, as you head towards uh, towards e from the positive direction, you are you are heading towards this number here. Okay.